In this video, I'm going to show you how the GDAX user interface is responsive to the screen size of your device. I often get questions with people asking why does their screen or their configuration in GDAX look different than the one that I'm displaying in my videos. So I wanted to just do this quick video here to show you how GDAX changes their UI based on the width and height of your device's screen. One of the things you'll see is you'll see the price chart and the depth chart actually collapse into tabs instead of being on top of one another. You'll also see this with the open order section and the fill section. Now, depending on the actual width of your screen, the trade history may disappear. This is typical in web applications and it's called responsive design. So let's just go ahead and see this in action. I'm gonna start with the width. So what I'm gonna do to simulate this behavior, I'm gonna grab the side of my window just here and I'm gonna just click and drag. And then you saw the first thing that just happened was that the open order section collapsed with the fills. So we get that behavior, it collapsed with the fills and then we can just tab back and forth. So that may be something that you see. Now let's just continue and drag a little bit more and see what happens. If we keep dragging. Eventually we see the trade history disappear. So if we're just there, the trade history pops back and then the trade history disappears. If you're on a tablet or a smaller device, then this may be the user interface that you're used to seeing. Now to actually get the price chart and the depth chart to collapse, we need to change the height. So I'm gonna grab at the top of my window and I'm going to just drag down and we see right there, the price chart and the depth chart collapse on top of each other. And then we get these tabs to where we have to tab back and forth. So one thing I do wanna mention about this is that if you are on a device that is showing or rendering this collapse configuration what you can perhaps do if you're close to the line when they actually do the collapse is you can just take your zoom on your browser and zoom out just a bit so let me do that and as soon as I zoomed out to 90% I got back my price chart and my depth chart on the same page as well as my trade history so just keep this in mind if you're using GDAX and you see a different configuration than what you're used to. And then also check your zoom because sometimes if you zoom in, you'll have the opposite effect. So if you're on one page and you zoom in and then you come to GDAX, it's possible that if your zoom settings stayed the same, GDAX will be reconfigured in a way that you don't expect. So those are things to watch out for with this responsive UI.